Hey, today we are going to learn how to texture a model in Blender 2.8. For this, you are going to need a texture atlas. That's just a square image with all of the colors that you want the model to have. You can make it using whatever graphic editor you want, like Paint, Photoshop or GIMP. Once we have the texture atlas, we'll need to do some UV mapping. That's basically just projecting the 3D model onto a 2D surface. For this case, as we won't really be painting a complex texture, only assign a color to the model, we can use the automatic UV mapping tools in Blender. To start UV mapping, we'll need a UV editor window. For that, we can just make the timeline bigger and replace it with a UV editor. After that, we can open our texture file. Now, to texture the model, we'll first select it and then switch to edit mode using tab or changing it here. Select all of the faces using A and then unwrap the model pressing U and Smart UV Project. Now, going over to the UV editor, press A to select all of the faces and then S to resize them, so they all fit in one of the color squares. After that, we have to deselect the faces on the model using Alt-A. Now, the model is unwrapped, but we need to move each of the faces to the right color. For that, in the material properties, we can press select and it will only highlight the faces with that color. Then. We can use A to select them and G to move the faces in the UV editor to the correct square. You'll have to repeat this step for all of the colors in the model. Once you're done, the model is unwrapped and textured but we need to delete the old materials and assign all of the faces to a new single material that we'll apply to texture to. So now switch over to the object mode and press the minus sign to delete the materials and then create a new one that you can rename to texture. And finally, if you want to check if you textured the model correctly, you can just replace the base color for the texture file. Now, something you can also do to make your models more interesting is having a gradient texture instead of just flat colors. We can quickly replace one of the squares with a gradient And now, in Blender, we select the part where we want the gradient. Instead of using the Smart UV Project, we can align the camera to the front of the model using the numpad, and then press U and Project from View. So that the gradient is aligned with the model. Now, just move it like we did before using G. So that's how it looks. That part of the model is now a gradient instead of just a flat color. You can download this model or any of my other free assets from my website. And if you want to support me, you can also find me on Patreon. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.